this is Phil Harvey at Light Reading, and we're here for a video presentation uh, to talk about the Leading Lights Awards. And joining me today is uh, Jesper Krutzen from Quilt. Uh, Jesper, thanks very much for uh, being part of the video today. Hi, Phil. Thank you so much for having me today. It's an honor to be part of uh, your Leading Lights Awards, and i um, very happy to have this conversation with you today. Yeah, we were, uh, uh, you know, we had a great amount of participation this year, uh, and we were really proud of all the uh, finalists and winners uh, in the contest. Uh, it's an incredibly competitive contest, as you well know. Um, so, uh, so thanks for entering, and congratulations on your win in the best new video slash media service uh, category. Um, that again was one of the more competitive categories because that is such a. a uh, an emerging space and it's changing so fast with the number of companies, you know, addressing everything from video streaming to edge caching to um, all manners of, you know, uh, consumer and business uh, video. Um, it was an exciting category. And I'm curious now that you guys have taken home the trophy, uh, what do you think gave you the edge in that, uh, in, the, in this particular uh, competition? Yes, uh, I think uh, there's several factors that comes into this. Um, as you say, it was a competitive ca category and there were many very qualified companies competing for this. I think first and foremost, Quilt is solving a difficult problem for the industry in finding a better way to deliver uh, OTT content uh, and video. So I, I think ultimately the fact that our solution contributes in giving better quality experience for consumers is, is key. Um, and I think uh, the fact that we also are stepping into the the carrier edge and, and giving the operators um, an opportunity to start delivering services from their edge means that they can utilize the space of uh, their network uh, that, um, that it's advantageous for them and it helps them uh, create uh, a more sustainable competitive advantage from uh, having delivery from the edge. Yeah, that's a very, uh, it is a very interesting model. And I was, I was curious as to, you know, what you think of, you know, from the service provider point of view, what were some of the things that motivated them to, uh, to implement your uh, content delivery model? Because this is, this is a little bit different than what they're used to. I think SPs, uh, service providers in general are seeing um, uh, big increases in over the top delivered content of all sorts especially video, and we're starting to see more and more live events as well. Um, so when uh, someone like Amazon, for instance, acquires rights for exclusive rights for US Open or Champions League in Europe, this spikes in content an SP has to handle, means that um, they are looking for better ways to, deli to deliver that content, more efficient ways within their network to deliver it. Um, but also something that gives a more consistent and better quality to the subscribers. Uh, so I think all of these are contributing factors uh, for the SPs uh, to try to use something like what Quilt is creating to create a sustainable competitive advantage for them um, and also just literally manage all that traffic in a better way, creating a good video experience for their consumers. Okay, that, that makes sense. Um, now, of course, Quilt doesn't just sell to service providers, and service providers, of course, do have you know very unique needs as it re, you know regarding uh, content delivery at the edge. Um, but so do uh, you know content publishers, and uh, and there's a lot of companies that you address that you uh, sell to on that side uh, of the equation. Can you give me a little bit of detail about your business? That's uh, your sort of non-service provider business, and what other types of companies that that includes. Yeah, um, clearly the content publishers is a very important side of the the quilt business. Uh, we've worked with uh, some of the leading uh, content uh, publishers uh, in the world. Um, the fact that uh, they can find a more consistent and better uh, quality to their consumers is key in providing a uh, service to the consumers when you are uh, Disney or if you're Amazon there, you've invested a lot of money in creating content and in buying rights and then making sure that can be delivered efficiently in a controlled manner um, is very important. Um, so um, finding a way that's collaborative with the SP 
utilizing a technology like Quilt where uh, they can hand over the content uh, to Quilt and we can make sure that the SP helps direct the content to the end consumer um, is critical. And then finding a way that we can work within the same commercial framework and, and, and boundaries as they're used to, but still providing a better uh, ultimate experience for, uh, for consumers and streaming customers um, is, I think, the reasons uh, for the content publishers to embrace this. The fact, furthermore, that we're building a, a, upon some of the work that's going on in Streaming Video Alliance and there's a whole ecosystem behind this, I think is just one more further reasons for the content publishers to be excited about this and to be embracing it to the degree that they are. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so what's next for Quilt? What are you guys up to in the next few months? Yeah, so uh, it's very exciting times for Quilt. Um, we have together with Cisco already announced uh, several very large uh, service providers like BT, Telecom Argentina, uh, Tim Brazil. Uh, over the next uh, three to four months, you will see um, a number of operators announcing as well that they're uh, building uh, platforms with Quilt to be able to service open caching. Um, we're also signing up more and more content uh, providers as they see the benefits that this brings. Um, so it, 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 from, from those perspectives, it's a very exciting time for Quilt and um, we've also solidified our partnership with Cisco, enabling us to deliver at a different scale. So we will be scaling our business to new heights and we're excited about what the future brings. Okay, that sounds great. And we will definitely be watching out for that. Um, in the meantime, congratulations for the uh, Best New Video uh, Media Service Leading Light Award. And uh, Jesper, uh, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with me today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Phil. It was a pleasure to be here.